Hey guys, welcome to a hashtag Friday Night Breaks and we are doing a box of 2013 14 Enforcers to drop the gloves again. 12 tough cards per pack. This is awesome. I respect the Enforcers. I love the Enforcers. They are some of my favorite hockey players, including Wade Belak. That is my favorite hockey player. That's well, of almost of all time, I collect everything of his between game used jerseys to autographs to photos to everything. I have so much stuff of his. So, guys, this is Enforcers, number two. So, we will get 12 cards. We will go look on the back here. We're going to cut this open here. And I hope everybody enjoys. Hits that subscribe button. Hits that like button. Do not forget to share, subscribe. We're doing a 3,000 contest. Here's the box. What a beautiful box. This is going to be so much fun. So the pack includes five base cards, four authentic autograph cards, and three game use memorabilia cards. So let's see what we get here. This is from In the Game. Rest in peace, In the Game. Now it is associated with Leaf. But we're going to see what we get in this. All right. This is going to be some fun i will throw up some stats i know a lot of these i know a lot about tough guys so try to get this out without wrecking the box very nice doesn't look like we've got anything so of course we're looking for the three autographs we're looking for gordy howe that's a short print cam neely that's a short print and uh not ray boric uh another guy Ro i think it's ronick Jeremy Roenick. So, let's get into this. I'm always, I'm always loving the game enforcers. Take a first look here. There we go. We got versus Walker. You guys want to pause it, take a look, and there is the first card. Tales of the Tape. Next, got tag teams with, very nice, Rob Ray and Mike Hartman. If you don't know about Rob Ray... He was the reason why the fight strap is now a light. Like, you have to have a fight strap on a jersey is because they classify that as a Rob Ray rule. Very nice. Try to get into the autograph soon. Looks like we got crease conf uh, conflicts. Very nice. Rivalry. Take a pause there. One of the greatest enforcers for Montreal, Chris Nyland. Guy was abs uh, or, uh, almost or like he was a beast. Chris Nyland, 3,000 penalty minutes. DeBrusque, very nice. Take a pause there. A lot of base cards. First card Keith. We got a Keith Primo and a Ken Dynaco. Ken Dynaco, if anybody remembers him, he was playing for the New Jersey Devils. He was, well, Mr. Devil, I believe they called him. Mr. New, Jer New Devil, New Jersey Devil, Mr. Devil himself. Played almost 1,300 games uh, for New York, the uh, New Jersey Devils. I believe uh, he had the record for the most games. Next. Very cool. Very cool. Don't know much about those guys. Still pretty cool. I like the jerseys. Definitely an old school jersey. You can see the material to the newer style. Cool. All right. Try to get into some of the autographs soon. Jeff uh, Chitron. He did have... Uh, he was having some good... I'll pop it up. He had... I think he played in the four or five years, and he did have 200-plus penalty minutes. Uh, I remember him playing for the LA Kings, the Penguins, Flyers, and, of course, the Oilers. He did not play a lot of games for the Oilers. Still a nice card. Two-color jersey, Enforcers 2, Game Use jersey of Jeff Chitron. All right, now here comes the autographs. First one, I'm kind of excited. Brett Saverin. I believe that's how you say his name. 
He is an Alberta boy from Vagerville. If you have not seen Vagerville, go and enjoy Vagerville. Won the Cup in 1999, Vagerville. Alberta is practically known for two things. The giant Ukrainian egg because of the huge Ukrainian population. And uh, this guy right here. Won the Stanley Cup, I remember, in 1999. They have a museum there. And he only has, I believe, only fight in Japan. I remember reading about that. They actually had his jersey when he was playing in Japan. That's that's actually a really sweet auto. There you go, Alberta boy. Next, you already know who this is. Kevin McLennan, Edmonton Oilers. I love his, that's a very basic auto. Played, is it six or seven years for... The Oilers had 1,600 or so penalty minutes. Awesome guy. I believe I met him before at an event. Not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Next, uh, uh, Brendan Witt for the Washington Capitals. He is, I don't know much about him. He is from Humboldt, Saskatchewan. I remember he... Actually, when uh, the funeral was happening at Humboldt, he was there saying a bunch of stuff. Very nice. And the last is a Ken Clarkson. Don't know much about him either. I know he put up some pretty decent points with the WHA. I don't know if he was playing the same time as Bobby Hall, but I know he put up a lot of decent defense or put up a lot of penalty minutes. Uh, a few seasons, I believe he had 200 plus penalty minutes. Or you can buy a box of these for about a uh, hundred bucks. If you can find them in the game, stuff is getting extremely rare. Everybody loves to open it. So let's we'll take a quick look here. We got a Kim Claxon, a Witt, McLennan, a Brett uh, Severn, Jeff Cheatron, a dual jersey. Another dual jersey. That's really cool. I like that. And a bunch of base cards. So there was no Gordy Howe. No Cam Neely. But that was fun, guys. I hope you enjoy. We're going to have a contest very soon. We're going to be doing the 3000 contest very soon. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That was my first time in about four years. Maybe even five opening up. Some enforcers. I hope you guys enjoyed this box. Have a good day, guys. Have a good night. I'm the card collector, and I'm out.